Welcome to the Cybertruck Unveil. Yeah! Trucks have been the same for a very long time. We want to try something different. So I present to you the Cybertruck. If anyone is going to put a deposit for a car purchase, that means they want it badly enough. In the case of the Tesla Cybertruck, it was expected to start at $40,000 for a single motor, two-wheel drive variant, with the blindingly fast tri-motor version costing more than $70,000. Initially, the top-spec Cybertruck was supposed to have three electric motors. Musk hinted at plans for a new four-motor Tesla Cybertruck to have a crab walk capability similar to the Hummer EV. Wondering why? We'll tell you more. When traveling off-road, the Hummer EV's four-wheel steering allows it to drive diagonally like a crab to avoid stones and huge rocks. Musk also said that Tesla's technology will not operate like a tank in which the left and right hand side wheels revolve in opposing directions to rotate the vehicle on the spot. This is a barely disguised dig at Rivian, which has equipped its R1T pickup vehicle with precisely this functionality. Musk also hinted that if you'd previously reserved a single, dual, or triple motor Cybertruck, you'd be able to upgrade to this new quad motor variant. If you stay up to date with Tesla Cybertruck news closely, you probably heard about how Tesla recently unveiled that the biggest of the four projects is Cell 1 a 693,093 square foot building. With a projected cost of $368 million, this project is also the most expensive. Construction on all four projects is scheduled to begin this January and end in 2024. Drive unit, the project with the next largest size, will measure 423,032 square feet. The project is expected to cost $85 million. At 321,186 square feet, Cathode would be the third largest project and the second costliest, at $260 million. However, Cell Test Lab, the smallest of the four initiatives, will measure only 2,560 square feet, little larger than the typical Starbucks and will cost an estimated $3.7 million. The plant is now utilized to construct some of Tesla's Model Y automobiles. The factory's production was initially hampered by the scarcity of the more efficient 4680 cells that compose its new battery design. Panasonic has said it intends to address the backlog in early 2024 when it begins manufacturing advanced cells at its $4 billion battery complex in Kansas. Musk has said that after the Texas facility reaches total production, the business will concentrate on the long-delayed Cybertruck. Could this be why the Cybertruck production has been consistently delayed? Well, never say never. Despite its alien-like appearance, the Tesla Cybertruck will compete with the non-alien-like pickup trucks on the market. The outside of Tesla's all-electric pickup truck is composed of scratch and dent-resistant stainless steel and has sharp, angular edges, making it very durable. Comparing it with very traditional work pickup trucks is somehow comparing a hypercar with a muscle car. Each one of them is good and maybe better than the other, but both of them are not made for the same customer base. Did you know Tesla Cybertruck is or will be the most advanced electric truck? Because of Tesla's newly revealed technology, despite coming out on the market the last, the new Tesla Cybertruck will be compatible with megawatt charging. Musk claims that this technology was created for the upcoming Tesla Semi HGV and will be accessible to Cybertruck drivers. He earlier indicated that the Cybertruck would be manufactured in the middle of 2023. The first fortunate consumers might get their hands on this cutting-edge electric pickup truck before 2024. These are mainly intended to charge a fleet of electric Semi HGVs. Still, he verified that the next Cybertruck would also be able to utilize them. Tesla's most potent superchargers presently produce 250 kilowatts. A megawatt charger would have around four times the power of existing installations, allowing for far faster charging periods. Musk anticipates receiving his prototype Cybertruck in the coming weeks. Still, those who aren't Tesla's self-proclaimed techno king we'll have to wait a bit longer before adding Cyber Trucker to their Tinder profile. 
Potential buyers may still reserve a Cybertruck in the United States for a $100 deposit. Still, the American firm has removed the button that allows you to buy a new Cybertruck from its UK and EU websites. If you're one of the lucky early reservation holders for a Cybertruck, you're also lucky that there is still time for you to make changes to your Cybertruck. As you may not know, it is still being determined if all of these Cybertruck models will still be available once the manufacturing starts. Tesla has announced that the all-wheel drive tri-motor Cybertruck will reach 60 miles per hour in less than three seconds. A dual-motor all-wheel drive model completes the identical sprint in less than 4.5 seconds, while the entry-level single motor with rear-wheel drive takes 6.5 seconds. Tesla claims that the three-motor Cybertruck can go 500 miles between charges. That is a monster truck performance if you ask me. Meanwhile, the mid-spec dual-motor Cybertruck can go 300 miles between electrical charges. In comparison, the entry-level rear-drive Cybertruck can only travel 250 miles. The interior of the Cybertruck is as angular as its polarizing appearance. The chairs are also highly geometric, and the marble effect dashboard has been lifted from a Roman house. The Cybertruck's 17-inch touchscreen and yoke-shaped steering wheel resemble those seen on the newest Tesla Model S Plaid and Model X Plaid. Tesla says that the Cybertruck has a cargo capacity of 2,830 liters that can be locked. This includes the load bed, dubbed the Vault by Tesla, the Frunk, and additional storage beneath the side windows. The Cybertruck has 120 volt and 240 volt power outlets, transforming it into a mobile compact power station. It also has a built-in air compressor. Every Cybertruck has a height adjustable air suspension that can be lowered on the fly and gives up to 16 inches of ground clearance. This together with the Tesla pickup's 35 degree approach and 28 degree departure angles makes it a potentially formidable off-road vehicle. Many people don't know this, but Tesla's newest Cybertruck will be made exclusively using casting, which is very unique to this industry. Tesla first requested the Cybertruck Giga casting machines in 2020. However, at the time, both Tesla and Idra agreed on an 8,000-ton version. Later, both companies opted to upgrade the machine to a 9,000-ton model. Tesla had previously created footings for the 8,000-ton version at Giga Texas. Still, these footings must have been updated with the enhanced machines. The footings area for these machines was once open, but it has since been enclosed and is known as the casting machine structure. Idra was sometimes spotted last year, moving the massive 9,000-ton Cybertruck Giga casting machine from its Italian factory to the United States. The Idra Group's 9,000-ton Gigapress is a critical component in the startup of Cybertruck manufacturing. Tesla has over 1.3 million Cybertruck reservations on file. The line is significant, and manufacturing should begin on time and scale up swiftly to begin deliveries on time. This goal may need the use of many 9,000-ton gigacasting machines.